Okay, hi Virgos, welcome back to my channel. Guys, if you are new here, welcome. And if you are returning, thanks so much for supporting the channel. So I'm going to go ahead and get a general message. Let's see what the energy is like. Now, this is a general message, so it may not resonate with everyone. Just take the parts that resonate for you and leave the rest, okay? Anybody interested in a personal reading, my information is always down below. Thanks to those who do reach out for those and thanks to those who donate to the channel and to those of you who do subscribe. It's very much appreciated. So I do hope that everybody is well, okay, Virgos? So Spirit, what do we have here today for the sign of Virgo? Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node and Venus. What is the energy for the collective? All right, give me a card for now and a card for going forward. Thank you, Spirit. Virgo what is the energy thank you so the card that is coming out here today Virgos it says the magician and the mirror and this is a number 53 which could be significant or the number 35 but it also does boil down to a number eight which is giving me like the energy of the eight of wands okay so show me more show me going forward thank you spirit So going forward, we have the thinking woman. And this sometimes can make me think of like maybe someone here is an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, or a Gemini, or maybe you have that in your chart, okay? But this to me is also giving me an energy of, I feel like someone here may be gathering knowledge or something like that or information about something here. And it makes me think of somebody trying to decide something. Someone's trying to make a decision about something here. But show me more, spirit. What is the magician and the mirror? I don't, I don't, I didn't get like a book with this deck, right? But I don't know what whoever designed the cards, what their reason was behind the magician and the mirror. But I'm an intuitive reader. So what it's given me here is almost like that energy of the man in the mirror. Which is that song by um, like Michael Jackson, right? But it's also giving me this energy of almost like somebody needing to realize how powerful they are here, right? Because when I think of the magician, I think of, you know, the magician with all his tools here. So I feel like someone here is in strong manifestation energy. But show me why it's here. The magician and the mirror. So you have, yeah, adjacent possibilities. So, you know, it's almost like, you know, it's that energy of there's so many opportunities around someone here, almost like the seven of cups. But it's also giving the energy of like someone here is still confused about something. Again, you know, we're saying the 53 boils down to an eight, which is like the eight of wands, which is that energy of moving forward or things happening at great speed. Right. You the adjacent possibilities is a number 24 which boils down to a six, which talks about that energy of moving to calmer waters. It's still that kind of energy of movement. And it also makes me think of like the six of wands. So moving forward here, it's going to bring somebody some sort of success here. Or I'm hearing even some sort of peace. So I don't know who I'm talking to and I don't know what you're dealing with. But it makes me feel like spirit is saying, hey, listen, there is a certain situation that maybe you need to move away from. Or maybe your life has become a little bit stagnant here, right? And spirit is saying, listen, you have everything you need to spice it up, right? Life is what you make it kind of an energy. What is this thinking woman? So we have the temple path. And this is a number three. So the number three, again, can talk about foresight, right? It can talk about waiting for your ships to come in. Sometimes the way I see the three of wands, just because of the kind of um, pictures that they draw on them, right? I always see like the person always holding onto one wand, whether it's in the two of wands or whether it's in the three of wands, okay? And that always makes me kind of have some sort of indication that someone here has some sort of desire for a new beginning, right? And it could be a new beginning in anything. Maybe someone just is, is like, listen, I'm tired of living in this area. I just want to relocate. I just want a fresh start. Whether someone is tired of working in the same job, 
whether it's because it's not fulfilling you or whether because you just don't like the people that are around you, right? You just can't work with the energy, whether you feel like it doesn't pay you what you are worth, whether you just feel like this is not my divine path, I'm not supposed to be here, whether it's in a relationship, this relationship ain't serving me, I don't feel the same about the person, whatever it is for you, right? Spirit is saying, whatever it is that you are desiring, you can have that. But I also feel like with this number three energy, you know, it talks about even though we say that we want certain things, that doesn't mean it's just going to fall in our lap. Some of these things, yes, we are going to have to work for them. Yes, we're going to have to be consistent and dedicated, okay, um, and things like that. But it's almost that energy of it's all kind of worth it in the end. Spirit, show me a little bit more about this energy, the magician in the mirror and the adjacent possibilities. Too many cards, too many, too many. All right, I just need one card. I feel like I know what that is saying. It could also be someone who may be suffering from some sort of pain from their past, which is also maybe causing some sort of nostalgia or stagnation here. Just one card. The Magician in the Mirror and Adjacent Possibilities. I'm also picking up this energy with this where just because something maybe from your past didn't work out for you or didn't turn out how you wanted it to or maybe, you know, it caused you some pain or disappointment. Um, it's that energy again. Don't let it stop you from moving forward. We have the thinking man coming out here now. OK, so we've got the thinking man and the thinking woman. It's a lot of thinking going on. Give me one for over here. Action. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. I'm thinking, is this thinking man thinking about this thinking woman? <laughs> because the thinking man's a 46, she's a 47. And then you've got this action. Someone may want to go towards someone. And it could be your divine path. So if you've been getting signs and synchronicities about this, you know, maybe that's your ancestors and your angels talking to you. Especially if it's in your dreams, right? With rest and rejuvenation. I also see someone trying to, you know, strategize or make some sort of plan about how they can kind of, um, you know, follow their heart here. I just heard someone is in love. What is this? What is the message here from my Virgos? Thank you, Spirit. Someone's birthday could be on the 16th of August. But you have the Ten of Wands. Okay, show me more. Now, the Ten of Wands is talk about someone who feels like, you know, something's just too difficult to do. Ten of Wands can talk about someone who is overloaded or has too much responsibilities here or they feel very much weighed down and maybe that's why they feel restricted in terms of moving forward. You have the Two of Swords. Yeah, someone here is at some sort of a stalemate energy here, right? Two of Swords talks about being at a crossroads. It can talk about someone who feels like the choices that they have to make is just too stressful, right? It's almost like someone who wishes that they could be in um, more than one place at a time. What is this? Hanged man, seven of wands, and then you have this knight of wands. It kind of feels like someone needs to stand their ground. Okay, so I don't know what the energy of the Ten of Wands is, whether it's people, whether someone just has like, they feel like they have a lot of debt, um, whether they feel like their finances is kind of, you know, all tied up kind of an energy here. But 
The Seven of Wands, it talks about fighting for what you believe in. It talks about standing in your corner, right? It can talk about, yes, these things may be challenging, but it's almost like speaking up for yourself. It's, you know, Seven of Wands talks about maintaining or taking control. What is the Ten of Wands with the Seven of Wands? I also see someone here who doesn't get enough rest. So it's almost like you're here, you're there, you're everywhere, you know. And then when other people are calling you, you're there for them. And then you've got to do this. And it, there's no, like, it, it just kind of feels like someone's wearing themselves thin. Ten of Wands or the Seven of Wands. The World Card, yeah. Some things have to end here. It's also, you know, the world card can talk about maybe someone needs a vacation or just to put space between them and whatever this Ten of Wands is representing. The world card also talks about, you know, success, achieving things. And then you have the High Priestess. Someone is watching tarot, maybe to get advice with the High Priestess and the Page of Swords. What is the Two of Swords and the Knight of Wands? A Strength card. What's the Knight of Wands? Four of Wands. I don't know if someone needs to kind of stand up to like maybe family here or maybe someone they have a family with, right? Two of Swords, again, talking about stalemate. This this Knight of Wands can talk about an energy of freedom or, you know, someone who is non-committal here. And the Strength card. I also see someone who is wondering if they can put their player ways behind them in order to have something stable. I mean, someone could be married to another person and maybe that person is a cheater. What is the strength card? Yeah, the <laughs> Ten of Cups came out, landed on the world. So again, this may have a lot to do with family members, friends. But this could also be someone needing the strength to go after something here that they feel like will bring them some sort of wish fulfillment, emotional happiness. What is the hangman? Pisces energy. So we've got Pisces, Leo energy out here, Virgo energy um, with the Strength card, Sagittarius. So we've got the Hangman with the Seven of Pentacles, show me more. And the Ten of Swords. Now, the Seven of Pentacles with the Hangman is definitely giving me the energy of someone who is very much thinking about, you know, things they have invested in. It could be things that you invested in that's maybe got you into a certain position where you feel stuck. The Hangman can also talk about even though someone may be enlightened or seeing something from a different perspective, right? This is a lack of direction. What's this Ten of Swords? Because this talks about betrayal. This talks about gossip, bad mouthing, lies. This can talk about something being a failure. What's this Ten of Swords? It also talks about exhaustion and you started with the Ten of Wands over here. What's this Ten of Swords? The Ace of Wands, some sort of action that maybe somebody took. Show me more. Show me more. Okay, Cups in the reverse. Ace of Cups in the reverse. Clarify the star and the king of cups in reverse. Ten of cups is back out here. Hermit energy and the five of swords. So is somebody in their emotions for betraying another person? Because it almost looks like now they want to heal it with them. You could be dealing with a Cancer Pisces or a Scorpio. It doesn't have to be. It could just be someone who is in their emotions here. Usually the King of Cups in the reverse to me is someone who is emotionally immature. Can talk about someone who is not dealing with their feelings very well. Maybe someone who is feeling a little bit out of control, overwhelmed. It talks about anxiety as well. 
I want to clarify these two. Because like I said, it's either someone here wants to heal something here with you with this star card, right? But this may be a situation where it's unrequited love with the Ace of Cups in the reverse. This could be someone who is regretting some sort of action they took in the past. Someone who is now feeling defeated. And now they're feeling defeated, they kind of want to surrender. And for others of you, there's an energy here where someone here may have tried to do something here. Well, clarify the king. Before I say that, clarify the king of cups in the reverse and the five of swords. Thank you, spirit. The death card and the page of swords. Yeah, because something here is over. For some of you, there's someone here who maybe tried to hold some sort of finances back from you. Or just tried to hold you back, full stop. I feel like for some of you, this is someone who maybe... Is not only spying on you here with this page of swords, but they're seeing you have some sort of growth here. And it feels like as well, you know, where we've been picking up this energy where someone is actually realizing that, hey, damn, maybe something is actually over. So for some of you, I really don't know who you were dealing with in terms of it's almost that energy where they felt like they could put you on a shelf and, you know, you stay there until I'm ready to kind of come and play with you again kind of a thing. And it's almost like this person came back to the shelf and didn't expect you to be gone. Yeah, two of pentacles. Where the Virgo go? What is this thinking woman? The temple path and action. So maybe that is your energy, right, Virgos? You're on your temple path. You're taking action. You're seizing opportunities. And this is someone who's realizing that maybe instead of working against you, and if they had worked with you, maybe these adjacent possibilities would have been available to them as well. Not to saying that if they don't do the work that they need to do for themselves, you know, there they won't be doors that open for them. It just might not be the same doors as yours. What is this over here? Landed on the two of swords, the knight of swords. Yeah, it's almost like you're not paying attention to certain people. You're, you're making big changes in your life here, Virgos, right? Where I was saying, seizing opportunities. Now, but it could also mean that maybe someone here is, you know, wanting to rush in here. Show me more. You have the Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, and you have the Justice card. It landed on the Seven of Pentacles. You planted the right seeds. Justice. Some of you may have Libra in your chart. But the justice talks about learning the lessons of life. What's this Knight of Swords? What's the Knight of Swords? Can I not put this King of Cups out already? Coming out sideways is the King of Cups. Cancer Pisces, Scorpio energy, but this is someone, it feels like, you know, any card that comes out sideways to me is a blockage. This is someone who is unable to move forward. This could even mean that this person may be angry here with the Knight of Swords. I don't even know if I should put them in the upright. Let me just leave them sideways. <laughs> You've got the Knight of Pentacles coming out in the reverse with the Nine of Wands in the reverse. This is someone, you see why their life is turned out the way it has or why it is turning out the way it is? Because for some of you, you're dealing with someone who is stubborn. The Knight of Pentacles in the reverse can also talk about someone who is lazy, impatient. This is someone who has a lack of common sense. This could be someone who rushes into things without thinking first. Knight of Pentacles in reverse talks about someone who is unstable. King of Cups coming out sideways. Unskilled, unreliable, disloyal. So, <laughs> what do they want with the Nine of Pentacles? I mean, the Nine of Pentacles is the opposite of all of that. Nine of Wands in the reverse, refusing to compromise. You know, like I said, it talks about someone who is stubborn. This is someone who wants to be the last one standing. 
my way or the highway kind of energy. This is the kind of person that will cut their nose off to spite their face. <laughs> what is this Nine of Pentacles energy for Virgo? The Hierophant. Mm, landed on adjacent possibilities. And I'm hearing higher and higher. So again... That could mean anything, right? Nine of Pentacles is a very independent, financially stable energy, right? Someone who is secure. You know, so it can talk about someone who is wealthy. Or maybe you're on your way to some sort of wealth or abundance here. But this is, you can, you can, on your own, right? You can hold your own here. And Nine of Pentacles, again, it can talk about, like the Seven of Pentacles investment. So what are you investing in? Knowledge? Wisdom? Your higher self. Nine of Pentacles and the Hierophant. Three of Pentacles. Yeah. Some of you could have a Taurus energy coming towards you. But I feel like for some of my Virgos, some of you stand in some sort of leadership role. I don't know, I heard convent. So I don't know if some of you in here are religious or whatever. But the Three of Pentacles, it talks about teamwork. So this is why I'm saying for some of you, maybe there is someone coming towards you. But for others, you, your teamwork is your ancestors and your guides. That's who you work with. What's the justice? And this is someone who sees that you are determined to go forward. That energy of there is no stopping you. What is a justice? Queen of Swords. <laughs> Some of you may have, like I said, Libra in your chart. Or when you speak, you speak your truth. Queen of Swords is someone who speaks with conviction. She's honest. She's clear. She's direct. Right? Can she? I always say the Queen of Swords, depending on who she's dealing with, can she be a bit harsh? Yes, she can. But I always feel like that's because, hey, listen, when she says what she says, there is no confusion. One more. Eight of Pentacles. Oh, you ain't playing when it comes to your work. Mm -mm. It's almost like with the two of wands at the bottom of the deck, you made your mind up about where it is that you're going and that is where you're going. And if somewhere along the journey, spirit said, or this person showed their ass, right? And they spirit said, oh, well, this person can't come. You said, cool. All right. Look at that. You said, cool. All right. Six of cups with the eight of ones. If I got to leave the past in the past, so be it. Let's go. If this situation is a burden to me, then I'm going to end it. I don't see the high priestess out here. But I'm picking up something about your intuition. Maybe whoever this is that you're dealing with. Maybe this is someone that you could read very well. Or you're just used to the same kind of tactics that they have, right? But for some of you, you know that this is someone who is going to come towards you with some sort of burdens. You've already received those downloads, right? What's the Eight of Pentacles? Some of you could work in a law firm. Maybe you're like a solicitor. You could even be like a judge or something. What's the Eight of Pentacles? You have the Queen of Cups. So for some of you, whatever it is that you do for work, you're very passionate about it. What's this Queen of Cups? Cancer Pisces, Scorpio energy. Coming out sideways. Damn, the Seven of Swords with the Nine of Cups. What's this, Queen of Cups? This could even be like a family member. Oh, well, let me see what's covering this Seven of Swords. Who's this Queen of Cups? The Tower, Scorpio Energy. The Ace of Swords. Seven of Swords with the Ace of Swords. That's the Eight of Swords. This could be someone who is in their head about you saying something, for those of you who may work online, or someone could be worried about some sort of truth being exposed about them. 
What's the Nine of Cups? The Moon. What's the Nine of Cups and the Moon? Because it feels like for someone here, that this Queen of Cups may be afraid of you receiving something that is wish fulfillment. The Eight of Wands. Yeah, this is someone who's worried about what you're going to say or about going forward. And the Two of Pentacles. One more. Who's this Queen of Cups? I ain't going to lie to you. That's who I was waiting for. The King of Pentacles. <laughs> I saw it in my head. So I was like, one more. What's this? The Magicians. I don't know. Someone here doing spell work on someone. Nine of Swords. This could be like a love spell. Or a spell to stop somebody from moving on. Or stepping into their power. Okay. I always say to people, you don't want people to pick up your energy. Don't go to their channel. Don't watch their videos. Don't. So, all right. Anything else, my Virgos? Thank you, Spirit. What do I want to use? Let's get one of these. Give me some advice for Virgo. Give me a message. What is the advice here? I don't know why I'm getting this energy of, I don't know if someone's coming out from hiding or <laughs> maybe you've just been in hermit mode and not necessarily hiding or maybe you've just been avoiding people. But I feel like somebody is almost like, yeah, I'm hearing that song. I'm coming out. I want the world to know. Got to let it show. All right, give me one card for Virgo. That was quick. <laughs> okay, I'm going to read it, what it says in a book. But the first thing I heard when I saw this card was deuces. <laughs> and it says sinister sisters. So someone here could be dealing with like a, a sibling or something like that. But it says find your soul tribe. What do we have at the bottom of the deck? It says dickweed death. <laughs> it says new beginnings are needed. So yeah, someone's like something here needs to end. S someone needs to follow their dreams. Manifest the arse out of it. It says dream big. Today's lesson is, so again, someone here has learned enough or They've outgrown someone or they've had some sort of spiritual awakening or they just don't see things differently. But, you know, it's at the same time, it's an energy of not necessarily doing anything about this new vision or this new way of seeing life or this new information or, you know, this new you, maybe. So let's see what Sinister Sisters say. All right. It says, are you being a downright sinister sister to someone in your life right now? It says, and feeling a bit nasty towards someone. It says, change those thoughts. It says, if you don't, you'll create so much more darn drama than you need to create. So it says, change the sinister into sacred. It says, are you hanging around the wrong crowd for you? It says, well, stop it. It says, join a different club and find new friends. It says, because these ones suck. It says, and are not good for your soul. It says, to belong to their group. It says, do you need to wear makeup and dress in a certain way that is not your personal style? So again, is someone kind of being fake, right? Are you around certain people that you just can't be your authentic self? And maybe you should question that. That's not the book saying that. That's me saying that. It says, it says, sinister sisters may display kindness towards you. Maybe you need to look deeper into the relationship. It says, are they only friends with you because you make them feel better about themselves? It says, can you tell them that you don't like what they're wearing or how they are acting? It says, a true friend or relationship will always survive. Truth speaking, truth being spoken. 
It says, turn the sinister into sacred friendship and find your sacred tribe. It says, questions to ask yourself. It says, are my friends being kind to me? It says, am I being an untrue friend to someone else? And then it says, do I need to explore and find a new tribe? So maybe that is a question that somebody needs to ask themselves, right? So let's get one more card. And then let's end this reading. Thank you, Spirit. What's the advice here for Virgo? So it says marriage. It says you are attracting emotional fulfillment and unconditional love. And then you have the angel. So we do have an energy of 22 here. Someone could be seeing that synchronicity. Um, it says your angels are guiding and protecting you on your spiritual journey. So again, that energy of don't be afraid to make these changes. Don't be afraid to take leaps of faith here, right? Because your ancestors and angels are with you. But I really feel like everybody doesn't believe that. And it's almost like I'm hearing, well, because you can't see the angel in physical form, you know. It's almost like someone needs to, I don't know, see a miracle to believe. But Virgos, that is a general message that I picked up here today. I do hope that something has resonated for you. If it has, I do ask that you hit the thumbs up for me. Um, subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell so you know when I upload. But if this is where we part, Virgos, stay safe, love and light, guys.